They both stand up and make their way over to greet us. Hello beautifuls, this is Aromi here and welcome to Love Ritual. This has been a game I believe the developer reached out to me on Tumblr to play a little demo of it and it is on Echio Ichio, however you pronounce always in the description link below i don't know when i'm going to be uploading this it could be before or after uh my hair in mystic destinies so if i do upload it before do you guys like my bangs i have changed my hair i got a haircut and i did bangs and i think it's really really cute but anyway um this is a game and demo i believe it is a detective game comedy detective game i read a little bit of it i didn't read fully you know because sometimes i like to just dive into the game and learn about it but the art is so stinking beautiful look at all the colors you know i love colors so much the music is loud but i can fix it during editing um it is like super low here like i i fixed it to be low but it's still kind of loud or at least maybe it's just my headset. Oh, how do I back out? Just everything about this is so beautiful. I cannot. This is the place, ma'am. That'll be five liras. Liras? Liras, please. Ooh, she is cute. After a long trip, I finally arrived at my destination. There's no doubt I was summoned due to my extensive knowledge of the mystical arts. Well, it just blinked. Okay. After all, I am next. I am the next heir to a family of occult researchers. Thank you. Here's your fare. Have a good day. She is stinking cute. You too, ma'am. Ooh, the animation. I did not expect that. I did not expect the character art to animate. Oh my god. This has stolen my heart already and we're only like, um, like two, almost two minutes in. The taxi leads me outside the police station. I find myself a little uneasy for some reason, as if I'm about to get involved in something bigger than just a simple investigation. It's probably because this is the first time I've been summoned specifically for my expertise with the occult. I'm overthinking it now. I'm in- uh, not- I'm- I was gonna say indicated. I'm dedicated my entire- uh, I've dedicated my entire life to researching these kinds of things. It'll be a walk in the park. I should stop worrying and knock on the door. Sometimes you need to interact with the environment. Try clicking on the door. Oh. <gasps> oh my god, this is so cool. I knock on the door and soon enough, a friendly looking policeman who looks very tired is greeting me. Ooh, you're cute. <gasps> he's moving too. And he's breathing. Oh my god, guys. I'm already so much in love with this game. Hey, you're... Re relay? Relay? I, I get, I'm horrible with names, sorry. Aren't you? I'm gonna call her Ree. Yes, that's me. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. I'm... Ah! Oh my god, these names. Andwin? 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 Uh-oh. The chief investigator. The man I shake hands... The man and I shake hands before leading me to the in interrogation room upstairs. I just recently stopped, finished, I finished recording Doki Doki, so any black screen is gonna scare me right now. I presume you've taken the time to familiarize yourself with the case on your way here. A forbidden ritual took place and you suspect that either the druids or the necromancers are to blame. I was asked to offer an expert, an, an expert opinion on the matter. Perfect! With you at the helm, this case should be over in no time. You're good looking. Listen, I don't want to pressure you or anything. No pressure, but actual pressure. But I need a culprit within the week. A week? What are you doing? If you can't find- whatever. If you don't give us a result quickly, the, in the inquis inquis inquisition? inquisition will launch an investigation in your family's tower. Excuse me? You're threatening me? If I don't get my job done? Why? The ink. In inquisition in the family tower. I can't allow that. That's crazy. I understand. How do I save? Are these the save buttons? I'm just gonna right click. There. Uh... Usually I just like to. Is this a save button? I assume so. Alright. Is that a save button? I think this is a save. I think this is load. Alright. That's crazy. I understand. That's crazy. 
This is a demo. I can play whatever right now. That's crazy. I know, I know, but my hands are tied. The order came from miles above. Whatever I can hope to one day reach in terms of rank. It really is absurd to have it, to resort to such threats. And there's nothing I can do. Please understand my position. Anduin opens the door of the small room where two men are sitting across one another. They both stand up and make their way over to greet us. <laughs> on the right lots of chess going on though so I'm quite shy but <laughs> these men are representatives of the necromancers and truths it seems that both circles claim innocence and blame the other for the crime but lack evidence to support their claim I really like this guy here he is some buzz his face it's so soft his is kind of rough. Usually I would go for the, these types of guys in games like this, but I'm kind of digging this one. <laughs> that is obviously impossible. One of them has to be guilty. I leave it to you to figure it out the wire in this matter. And one gives me a pat on the back in an attempt to lighten the situation and jokingly says, They're both a major pain in my ass. I hope you don't have the same fate I did. And good luck. You'll need it. Okay. As the door closed behind the policeman, I bring my gaze over to the two gentlemen in front of me. The truth seems a lot more friendly than the necromancer, which tends to generally be the case given both their divergent societies. Hey, I'm Sh Shan Shanrick. Don't, don't, don't tilt your head and smile at me like that. My heart, it's too soft right now. You must be the maiden from the mystical tower. It is truly a pleasure of making the acquaintance of such a wonderful and talented individual. Are you done sucking up to her yet? A woman of her reputation isn't a feather-brained idiot like you. She's not going to side with you, but side with those you represent in this case because of some cheap parlor trick and smooth talking. Ooh, his hand even moves. And this is a demo, guys. Just to give you a heads up, this is just a demo. Tricks. I'm being genuinely honest here when I say I'm honored to be in her presence. Besides that, I always thought that it was your kind that valued deceit more, most highly. The necromancer ignores Shandre's comment and stretches his hands out toward me, as if to challenge a druid and giving me the dignified respect my status naturally imposes onto others. The name's Kalaseth, but I prefer just Seth. Thank you for having a, a name I can actually pronounce correctly. Unless that's not how you pronounce it either, then screw it. <laughs> I won't try to be forceful or anything of the sort. I'm only here to have the truth exposed for the world to see, as I'm sure an esteemed woman such as yourself seeks to accomplish the same as well, no? The two men stand before- oh, my girl is damn cute. I can't- everybody's so good looking here. The two men stand before me with their hands extended, and I have to shake one first. But who? I can't realistically shake both of them at the same time. I have to make a- what? Yes you can! Here and go! <laughs> I have to make a decision before they become impatient with me. To be honest, Seth was more professional, but Ray here, I did like him because of his looks. I don't, I mean, first impressions, Ray. I don't know who to pick. I'm gonna go with Ray, because he, he, he stuck out to me more. Yo, are those bones on your shoulder pads? He chose wisely to not shake, to not trust a shady man like Kalasa. Shady? Oh, <laughs> he looks so grumpy. That's so cute. Is that how the beer circle comforts itself nowadays by spreading petty lies about everyone else? The conflict seems unavoidable no matter whose hands I shake first. Okay. We got a little skull. Man, you're a man of mystery. Anyway, don't you find it a little odd that this crime was committed in such a convenient place as the forest which druids have been trying to preserve for quite some time? Perhaps they meddled with powers their free, feeble minds simply couldn't comprehend, and this led to an inevitable tragedy that released a va vast of... I was gonna say base. <laughs> released a base. Released vast amounts of magical energy. What would a necromancer gain from this situation anyhow? The part about us wanting to preserve the forest is true, but why would we dabble in such depraved magics? I would rather see that forest burn to ashes than see it corrupted by your filth. Who knows what needs to happen to someone's mind to delegate, de 
de dedicate, not delegate, de dedicate a lifetime to this unnatural profession in the first place. I'm absolutely sure, though, that no druid would ever get involved with these dark arts. I, I want to read, but I want to look at them, too, when they move. I really love this cat. Oh, I can click the cat! <laughs> the little meal scared me. He found a hang in their kitty. Oh, it wasn't supposed to be there? Yo, this game is so fun. Is there anything else that's <laughs> hidden? Alright, listen. I feel bad for, like, waiting so long to record this, but I had so much crap I needed to record. Listen up, you two. I'm tired enough from the long ride, but being in the same room with you for mere three minutes has already given me a bigger headache. Let's hope this trip wasn't just a big waste of time. If both of you won't cooperate on solving this case, I'll write a report that accuses both sides, and that'll be the end of it. The two men fall silent, which is... Yeah, I could do that. I, I would probably do that. <laughs> Shanray seems more apologetic, while Seth seems more in indignant. I calm the tone of my voice. I've had quite a long day, and the road trip has left, it, left me exhausted. We're up in arms at the moment, and nothing productive can be done right now. I'm going to my hotel to rest, and I suggest you two do the same as well. I'll read more on the case details, and tomorrow I'll listen to both of your testimonies separately, without the arguing. Think, think about the facts you want to present before me and, and be prepared to defend your side's innocence. Let's work together to solve this situation as quickly as possible. Do I make myself clear? Because your girl only has a week before they tumble into my family's tower. Of course. Understood. The music is so insanely loud in my ear. Even though I have it so low. As I shut the door behind me, it only takes me a few steps before they begin yelling at one another again. Good thing I suggested to meet individually tomorrow. No way that these two can handle conversing together calmly. Is there any more hidden stuff? I want to I wanna find hidden stuff. That's a druid and a necromancer for you. Eternal enemies refusing to help the other until the bitter end. Am I just a normal human? What am I? I arrive at my hotel room, feeling drained of all my energy, due to a system error that left me waiting for half an hour in the lounge. I was provided a more luxurious room as compensation for the inconvenience. That's the best. Oh, she hurt. She's sparkling. Oh, she is so cute. Whoa, wait, bubbles? Are we underwater? Are we underwater? Damn, this place is much nicer than I anticipated. It's got a double bed, among other things. Not that I'm complaining, though. More for me to enjoy, I guess. Either way, I don't plan on wearing fancy clothes any longer than I have to. Woof, see-through shirt. Hello. My girl's confident. I don't have big boobs. As <laughs> you guys remember how upset I was when I was uh, playing Doki Doki and Monica was just shoving hers in our face. Monica and Yuri. Rude. I heave a sigh of relief as I lay down to relax on the bed. After such a long and tiresome day, this feels like heaven. I doubt my bed my bed back home has ever been this comfortable. I'm wondering about these bubbles, though. I could just go to sleep as, as I am right now. Seriously? Right when I find the perfect position to sleep, someone decides to knock on the door. Maybe if I just ignore them, they'll go away. That never... It never works like that. Whoever is knocking sure is in a hurry, but that doesn't mean I'll be any less frustrated if I decide to open the door. Listen here, you better be like the most beautiful person to be knocking on my door right now. Without thinking, I get up and stop my way to the door in my lingerie. I determined to sleep peacefully and end this ruckus. I open the door to see Sean Ray. Oh. <laughs> Standing in the hallway waiting for an answer. You pervert! Oh, uh, uh, where are you, where are you looking? He, he just eyed us up and down. His face turned to a bright red as I realized that my attire probably is ideal for greeting anyone. Either way, I have to play this off with diligence. If I let myself get embarrassed, it'll only make this situation even more awkward. Hey, Sean Ray, right? Is there anything I can do for you? Be confident. Just, just pretend you're in normal clothing. Not really, it's just I'm here to apologize for my rash behavior of earlier. I guess I was a little overcome with emotion. I know for a fact that necromancers are reputed to sometimes manipulate those who are un who, who are unsuspecting. So, I was a little on edge with Kala Seth around. It wasn't very fitting for a druid like myself. Okay, you're the druid and he's the necromancer. Alright. Dude, I, I don't know what those terms are, but I guess I'll eventually learn. <laughs> 
<laughs> like myself to be overwhelmed by emotions like that. Patience is a virtue. We pride ourselves of having greatly among our circle. I came here to offer my sincere apologies and maybe try to mend any potential damage done to the newly formed bond between us. It's <sighs> a lot of mouthful to say. That's an awfully eloquent apology for such a minor offense. I'm not even holding a grudge against him to begin with. It's just how those two get when they are, they're near one another that gets on my nerves, making my job harder than necessary. I appreciate the con consideration, Sean Ray, but you need you didn't need to come all the way over here just to tell me that, you know? It could have waited until morning. I know, but it's important to me that I fix this as soon as possible. A bond is most fragile in its earliest of stages. He's so sweet! Aww, and I wouldn't be able to forgive myself if our relationship was permanently damaged because of my recklessness. Anyway, we completely forgot to decide whom you'll be interrogating first thing tomorrow morning. Have you made up your mind on the matter yet? I want to start with Seth first. I'll start with Kaliseth first. I see, you're the expert after all. I trust your decision to be the best for the investigation. Because I feel like Kaliseth, he'll tell me, like, the, like... I guess the truth and Chandra. I don't know. I want to keep Chandra for last. I trust your decision to be the best for the investigation. I'll wait for you in the lobby tomorrow afternoon then. Have a good night's sleep. Re 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 relay? Rely? Relay. Relay? Thank you, Chandra. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night to you as well. I closed the door behind me and paused to think for a minute. Did I really sound so angry that he felt it necessary to come all the way here to apologize? Come to think of it, how did he even find my room in the first place? Because I don't think the hotel people can give that personal information out. I wonder if he has some kind of ulterior motive. It wasn't necessary to come all this way just to say sorry, right? As I stand there, lost in my thoughts, someone knocked at the door once again. This sure might forget to tell me something. Oh shoot, I'm over the time. <laughs> Did you see how... <laughs> He's like... <laughs> Oh my god. Anyway, I am so over time right now. But anyway, this is so good. This demo, it's just, I'm so shook this is a demo. I'm gonna be really, really sad when the demo is over. Because I'm already hooked. I was hooked already like two minutes in. But anyway, thank you guys for watching today's episode. Stay beautiful. If you Hello beautifuls, this is Aromi here, and welcome back to Love Ritual. We are here <laughs> with our new guest, Seth. I don't remember his first portion of his name, but Seth is here, and his reaction is absolutely adorable. I open the door and see Seth waiting, and I'm still in my undergarments. If I thought Sean Ray's face was right before, Seth is something else entirely. He can't even close his mouth. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> you perverts. I'm going to have to outdo myself this time. Think, Relay. Say something silly. Quick. Oh, well, silly me. Open the door in my lingerie. Wait a second. What did I just say now? Was I too flirty saying that? <laughs> Damn it. I look up again only to see that the necromancer turned his head. Oh, you're so cute. It, it's fine. I was just here to say sorry. Wait, didn't, did, didn't you and Ray? Wow, she's hardcore blushing for Seth, but she wasn't like this with Ray. Is this game already telling me she wants to be with Seth? <laughs> About the meeting earlier, why? Anyway, I was trying to say, wasn't Seth and Ray walking past each other? Yeah, I just had my client's interest in mine, and yours too, you know? It would be terrible for your family's reputation if you gave a wrong accusation on the case. Seth is somewhat adorable when he gets flustered like this. Look, she is already down for Seth. I know, uh, girl, I know, me too, me too, but... <laughs> Calm down. You can turn around, you know? That's all I wanted to say, really. Also, I wanted to know who you were going to see first tomorrow morning. Oh, I picked him! I did pick him first! I decided to see you first thing in the morning. Wow, I already knew my girl's mind path. Girl, don't worry, I got you. What a pleasant surprise. He's fine. <laughs> I'm so happy I picked him first then. He finally turned around to face me, still visibly flustered by my choice of clothing. I'll make sure to be at the hotel lobby on time then. Have a good night, Miss Relay. Relay? Relay? I don't know. That sounds scary, it's so loud. With that now taken care of, Seth headed to the stairs before I, clo before I closed the door shut and returned to my bed. They're both definitely very different when I'm alone with either of them. Maybe it's the fact that I was half naked. Who knows? Well, you were half naked? You don't have pants on? I mean, we can't really see. We just see that you have a see-through top on. I didn't mean to close. Oh, yeah. 
I didn't mean to open the door dressed in wet. I was sleeping anyway. I just wasn't thinking because I was <laughs> I was upset. My slip. My sleep was. Uh, my sleep got dis 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 disrupted. Oh, I cannot. I cannot read. In retrospect, that's a lot more immature of me than those two. Guess Shen Wei wasn't the only one who got a little overwhelmed by emotion today. Hopefully, it wasn't too pro provocative. That said, they're both kind of cute. Oh, stop it, Relay. You're here to do a job, not find a boyfriend. Guess what? We're finding a boyfriend and doing our job. Kill two birds with one stone. If I keep thinking about them, I won't get any sleep tonight. It's best that I just close my eyes and rest. One cute druid, two cute necromancers, three cute druid... R Relay? What was she... <gasps> That's it! You cannot! You cannot do that to me! Yo, you cannot. You guys cannot. I, I'm mad. I don't know if there's anything at the end. The music is so loud. It's not gonna be loud for you guys, because editing me will lower it down. But, oh my god, I could've just, like, finished this in one video. You know what? I'm just, I'm just gonna have to just push it in one video, because it's not even, like, five minutes long of content. That's a shocker. Oh my god! It was so short! Oh, I'll, I should link the Patreon account, too. Okay, I'll link the, the, the game and... Oh, well, I mean... Oh, well, you guys can still play it for yourself. <laughs> I'll link the game and her Patreon. Her or him. I don't want to judge. Their Patreon. Menu? Okay, the music was just insanely loud. Am I like a normal, technically normal human compared to them? I thought they were mermaids. This art this is so beautiful. The art is so stinging beautiful. I thought they were mermaids for the longest. <laughs> when I looked this game up, I was like, oh cool, mermaids. I didn't look at it closely enough to realize they're not mermaids. But they, it just gives me the mermaid vibes. But anyway, I am mad. I am mad. Why did you tell me? to play this game creator because now I want more of it and I think they're gonna officially release the game in December so can't wait for that <sighs> I just love this game why <laughs> why'd you do this to me this is why like one of you guys told me to play more demo games and I couldn't play demo games until I finished the main core games I had which I still haven't finished like one of them Why'd you do this to me? Why'd you do this to me? I want more! And I can't have more! I have to wait until December! I cannot wait though. There, You can tell there's a lot of hard work going through this game. The colors, the animations, the hidden, the things you can, like, the interactive clicking. And if, on top of that, if they have, like, enough funds or whatsoever, and they, like, plan to, like, want to put voice acting, into this game, yo, this will be like too OP. It'll be out of this world. But anyway, thank you guys for watching today's episode. Stay beautiful. If there are any other games you guys want me to check out, like demo games, link it down. Well, no, you can't link it. Tell me down below in the comment section. I'll check it out. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Thank you to the creator for reaching out to me on Tumblr for telling me to check this game out because I am so in love. I'm so in love. See you guys sometime in the future.